Hello there, my fellow Vietnam-inspired Imperial Guardsmen, and welcome to the fourth and final video detailing the Katakan jungle fighters as a whole. Once again, I'm sorry about the time it took to finish talking about these guys. Today though, we are still gonna hear some tales regarding famous Katakan units and commanders. Word to the wise, there are a couple of these officers, like Iron Hands Draken, that I will only gloss over today, because I wanted to make a special video for them later. I am your host, the Grim Dark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? The Katakan 2nd Regiment, the Green Vipers. The second Katakan are made up of many Katakan Devil Squads. They fought valiantly during the Dolma Lin Cleansing, where Colonel Iron Hands Draken was seriously injured, and were subsequently redeployed to assist the Ulani Defense Battalion. They presumably took part in the Battle of Modan's Ridge during the Yakwid 27 campaign, fighting the Xenos called the Lahuraxi. The Ogryn Nork Dedog is also known to have served under Colonel Grice within the 2nd Regiment. The 3rd Regiment, the Green Devils. The 3rd Katakan was the home regiment of Captain Rock, who commented on the similarities between Varestas Prime and Katakan. The 5th Regiment. The Katakan 5th took part in the Makarian Crusade with varying success. They met fierce resistance during the invasion of Jucha. The 6th Regiment, the Cobras. The Katakan 6th also took part in the Makarian Crusade. They were notably deployed from the battlecruiser Opus Dei. The 12th Regiment. Led by Colonel Troutman, the Katakan 12th took part in the Makarian Crusade and deployed from the battlecruiser Defiance during the invasion of Jucha. They also fought during the recent 13th Black Crusade in M41. This was Sly Marbo's original regiment before moving on to the Katakan 2nd. The 17th Regiment, the Screaming Devils. The Katakan 17th is led by Captain Thorn and includes the famous sniper, Dell, who won the Silver Bullet seven years in a row. During the repacification of the World of Bad Sanctuary, Captain Forn and the Screaming Devils lost contact with their assigned commissar during a treacherous ravine crossing. The regiment's fighting efficiency has markedly increased since that fateful day. The Katakan 18th Regiment, the Drake Bats, the Drake Bat is an ogren-sized, winged pseudo-reptile lurking among the upper canopy of the equatorial jungles of Katakan, descending from the treetops to ambush and devour unsuspecting prey. The Katakan 18th Light Infantry, famed for their swift ambushes and surprise attacks, took on the name of these creatures, as is a common tradition among Katakan regiments. The speed at which the Drake Bat performs its swooping attacks is echoed by the Katakan 18's ability to deploy and execute an ambush with minimal time to prepare. An uncommonly large regiment, the Drake Bats have been divided up into a number of company strength groups and spread across the Spinward Front war zone of the Calyxis Sector, lending their skills to the hostile wilderness of several worlds. More recently, the orcs in the fungal jungles on Frax have been the Drake Bat's primary concern, with the Katakans forming part of the task force charged with retaking the world and driving the orcs away from it. Before that, they waged war across the dusty plains and frontier towns of Ganf Magna, purging feral orcs with knife, lasgun, and flamer. The 19th Regiment the Scorpion Fangs. The 19th Katakan is known to include a Mars pattern Lehman Russ exterminator, the third tank of the third squadron of the only company supporting the rest of the regiment. It was equipped with a bulldozer blade to aid it in the fighting on Armageddon Secundus during the Third War for Armageddon. The 23rd Regiment. 
The Katakan 23rd were crucial during the conquest of Atria 4, as their elite sapper units were able to breach the Palace of Hate within a week. The Katakan 23rd are also known for fighting against the Eldar on an unknown jungle world. The 24th Regiment, the Waiting Death. The Waiting Death are known for their almost exclusive and highly successful employment of booby traps. They are known to spend solar days, or even weeks sometimes, preparing a large areas with mines, improvised spike pits, long falls and other deadly traps before their foolhardy baiter squads lure the enemy into the death traps awaiting them. Most notable of their achievements was the almost complete destruction of Warlord Crackskull's entire Orc Horde with a single massive pit trap. They accomplished this by covering the mile-deep Hellsmouth's Gorge on Arandra 5. So perfect was the trap's construction that almost the entire horde had started to cross the hidden ravine before the fake floor of branches and leaves gave way under their tremendous weight. The 27th Regiment, the Flaming Devils. The 27th Catacan were stationed on the world of Garen Prime to fight against the Necrons at the end of the 41st millennium. The campaign went very badly for them, and within a year, they were almost wiped out. They fought a desperate last stand on a jungle ruin, led by Commissar Von Black, though their commander cowardly fled the battle in the first Valkyrie that arrived, and called off any more Valkyries from entering the drop zone. However, a maverick Imperial Navy Valkyrie pilot risked his own life to fly into the ruins and rescue the survivors. Although the Valkyrie was very badly damaged, he did manage to rescue Von Black and the remaining handful of Flaming Devil survivors. Afterwards, Von Black promptly executed the regimental commander for cowardice. The remaining Flaming Devils were then merged with the understrength Katon Dragoons Regiment, and Von Black was reassigned. The 51st Regiment, the Black Vipers. The Katakan Black Vipers fought on the world of Cytheria after its governor defected to the Tau Empire. Snipers from the regiment eliminated a prominent Tau leader, striking a critical blow to the aliens' morale. The 146th Regiment The Katakan 146 protected the world of Pandarax from the assault of the Black Legion and other Chaos Space Marines. Led by Colonel Deathstrike, the regiment successfully managed to survive against the traitor marines, using their jungle and city fighting skills to the fullest. The 1014th Regiment, the Unseen Lurkers. The Unseen Lurkers, led by Colonel Steel Eye Black, battled orcs from the Death Skull Orc Clan on the Shadow World of Kato. Sentinel teams from the regiment destroyed the orcs' hidden Stampa factory. And now, some notable Katakan leaders and officers. Colonel Taiho Anders The Katakan 18th Light Infantry Regiment commanding officer is a long-serving soldier in his early 60s, remarkably old for a Katakan. He bears a wealth of experience that could have only been gained from over 40 years on the front lines. Colonel Taiho Anders, referred to as the old man by his Drake Bats, is a cunning and resourceful leader, still uncomfortable with outside authority and justifiably proud of his warrior's accomplishments. He is distrustful of his superiors and has long been vocal of his dislike of what he calls the witless interference of the commissariat. This outlook has not endeared him to his senior commanders who only tolerate Anders because of his regiment skills. Colonel Gator Gator was the regimental commander of the Katakan 18th Swamp Rats, leading them for seven years against a Tyranid horde on the world of Coral Call 8. Teams of highly experienced Tyranid hunters covered their bodies with the ichor of the aliens they had slain, to build up an immunity to the toxins and mask their scent from the lictors which hunted them. 
After successfully wiping out the Tyranid Swarm, the Swamp Rats had to spend two years on a decontamination ship. Colonel Troutman Troutman is the commander of the Katakan 12th Regiment, and the famed Sly Marbo's original commanding officer. It is said that only the colonel knows the truth of Marbo's origin, and the tragedy that befell his brothers. Between missions, Troutman often acted as Marbo's only source of human contact, as well as awarding him some of his many Stars of Terra. Colonel Grice Grice was in command of the Katakan 2nd Regiment when it was involved in the pacification of the world of Baylor. The campaign lasted for four years, and Grice was severely wounded on several occasions. He is most famous for his association with the ogren Nork Dedog. Nork saved Grice's life multiple times, including carrying him from Breakback Hill when most of Grice's body had been shattered. Grice was eventually succeeded as colonel of the Katakan II by his former subordinate Strachan. Colonel Iron Hand Strachan Regimental commander of the Katakan II now possesses even more extensive chest and arm bionics following the events during the cleansing of Dolma Lin. His original nickname predated the Dolma Lin campaign and is derived from his unique augmentics which replaced the portions of his body devoured by a Miral land shark, which he killed mere moments after the initial attack. Colonel Deathstrike Colonel Strike was the commander of the 183rd Regiment of the Katakan Jungle Fighters during the Pandarax incursion. He earned his nickname while fighting against enemies in the forest of Burleon 8. The 183rd was en route to the Maelstrom War Zone during the 13th Black Crusade, when suddenly an engine failure ended up trapping them upon the world of Pythos. If it had not been for the 183rd Regiment and Colonel Strike, Pythos would have been lost to the forces of chaos. Burke Canton Growing up in the lethal jungles of Katakan, Burke developed deadly skills with a knife and a dark sense of humor to cope with the perils of life on a death world. In his years as a soldier, he has refined both of these talents and became skilled with a wide array of weapons, including the short-barreled auto shotgun that he favors for deep reconnaissance missions. Burke is often called upon by his commanders for his vast experience, and has earned a great deal about military strategy and the Tactica Imperialis from working with them. Burke is quick to crack jokes about the enemy, his squadmates, or the imminent likelihood of destruction, but he nonetheless avoids slipping into the despair, often plaguing those possessed of such dark humor. Burke often acts as the voice of reason and intermediary, between the more eccentric members of the Katakan 233rd, offering unexpected solutions to problems both within and without. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about some famous Katakan units and commanders. What are your thoughts on the feats of these fellows? Let me know in the comments below. I also feel I should let you know that, now with the Katakans fully covered, I do believe I'm almost through with all the famous Imperial Guard regiments. I still have to look into it, but if you guys know of any other famous regiments with some lore behind them that I missed, do let me know. Was this video enjoyable or informative? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all an amazing day. The Emperor Protects.